Yo, real quick, before we get started, the video is coming up in a second. Lawrence has had a fantastic idea that I want you guys to try to engage in. Lauren, can, can you share what, what you want the, the, the subscribers to do? Yeah, absolutely. If you feel like you, you know, if you feel like you have a unicorn or, um, you know, you know a couple, maybe you have like a good friend or a coworker or something like that, and you think like, hey, yo, this girl might be a unicorn, send a story um, to his, uh, it's a Gmail, right? Mediocre Tutorials and Reviews at gmail.com. Yep. And, 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 and I think it's very important that, that you're saying that because I, I want to get more of these stories out there mm -hmm. um, to either point a finger at, yeah, like that's a unicorn or like, nah, bro, like she's setting you up. Yeah. Let's get more of these stories out there. Send it to Mediocre Tutorials and Reviews at gmail.com. Yep. Or even maybe if you thought you had one, and then you find out, oh damn, you know, like what happened, thought, right? Or if you thought you had a bird and you was about to get rid of her, but then she turned out to be a unicorn. Anything. Listen, it's all the learning <laughs> experience. Let's learn from these experiences. Right. But without further ado, let's get into the video. What up, YouTube? I am your host, Media Tutorials and Reviews. Back in here with yet one more video. Joined today by a very special guest, Lawrence. What's good? Send it. I appreciate your time, brother. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Appreciate your time. Listen, so we're gonna get right in it. We're gonna cut right to the chase. Uh, got a video sub uh, suggestion from Shao Kun Shoulder Charge. What up, MTR? In your latest video, you asked your guests, how do you know when you're with a woman who would ride with you even if you fall on hard times? Or something to that effect. There's actually an AMS video where he actually answers that question. It's called, how you know when you found a unicorn? I brought Lawrence through today. We're gonna to talk about this particular video. We have not watched the video at all, so we're gonna give you our real and authentic reactions in the moment. Anything to say before we get started, bro? Nah, man. You, man, peep, you peep the last line? You peep the, uh... He, he said, I'll tell you now, unicorns don't exist, but here's the link to the video. <laughs> Do unicorns exist? Uh, Definitely. Definitely, I think it's some. I think I definitely think it's some. I, actually, I know it's some uh, good women out there. I know it's some, you know. But I mean, I want to. I want to I wanna base that on what his definition is, because he might just have this like completely unattainable. You know, what I'm saying like, oh, uh, a unicorn is a woman who, I don't know, just does some completely outrageous shit. Like, and all right, that yeah. doesn't exist. Like, can't nobody do that. So, right, you just gotta see what he says. It, but to your point, I think it depends on your definition of the word um, unicorn. I think yeah. outliers exist. I think those yeah. that are not following, you know, the trend. You know, mm -hmm. those who are not following the Cardi B's and the Stallion, Mega the Stallions, or what have you, right? And it can look outside and not in the short term view of what it takes to be happy and successful, but the long term view. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, but I don't know. We'll we'll see ba based on the definition of what unicorns as you AMS yeah. describes. All right. Uh, without further ado, let's get straight to it. Let's get straight to it. What's up, fellas? So today I'm here to talk about how you know when you found a unicorn. All right. And are there some unicorns out there? Absolutely, guys. There's a few out there. All right. We all know that it is. A handful of good women out there, but that's why they call a fucking unicorn because they're rare as fucking shit, guys. So, guys, it's two ways to know when you found a fucking unicorn. One, you hit financial difficulty and she stand beside you the whole way and loves you the same. All right. So, if you go through financial difficulty and she don't leave you, but she bitching every fucking day, that's not a fucking unicorn. Unicorn. All right, a unicorn ain't gonna stay and then complain or don't want to have sex with you every, you know, every now and then. A, a true unicorn, guys, a true thoroughbred unicorn is if you going through some financial difficulty. Not only is she gonna stand by your side, she might even help bring you up, even using some of her finances to help you up. All right, she might even help you with some whatever, you know. If, let's have say you in a car accident or whatever the case may be, and you really can't work. She ain't gonna bail. She might even help you pay some of your bills, you know, until you get back on your feet or some shit like that. All right, that's one way. She won't bail on you when financial difficulties hit. Two. Just real quick, let, let's talk about one real quick before we go on to two. Mm -hmm. How you feel about his first point? Uh, I agree. I agree because I know like for a lot of women, like that might be like the end all be all. Like you right. know, like oh yeah, that's it. I'm done. So. 
you know, I like how he said, like, make sure, like, nothing, like, she doesn't love you any differently. You know what I'm saying? Because it's mm -hmm. easy to stay, but, you know, constantly. You bitching bicker, right. Yeah. You bickering all the time, and you oh, get your broke ass off the couch. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You can't never have a moment of peace because she think you're supposed to always be up and out, you know what I'm saying, trying to get your job and everything. Like, not saying you shouldn't. Like, you know, if you ever get fired, get back on your grind. But, mm -hmm. like, no, I, I know exactly what he mean by that. So, I, I agree, for sure. Yeah, I, I agree uh, wholeheartedly. Right, because um, there's a lot that I've seen out there where um, your situation might change, and then all of a sudden they withhold things from you, they withhold mm -hmm. sex from you, right? Like um, until you can amount to who they had in their mind of you. But yeah, by definition, I would say a unicorn or an outlier is someone who can get past that that nature of ser searching for the best financial s suitor, yeah. right? And, and and to do it in a way where you never feel like She's taking away your manhood, right? Or stripping away uh, the value of that relationship based off of your current situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't, I can't disagree with, with 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 this one at all, man. I think it's a good point. Yeah, no, he made a good one there. All right, you want to keep going? Yep. All right. She won't start shit testing you out the ass when you fall in love. In other words, she won't start taking you for granted when you fall in love. Here's the thing, women, guys. Women are designed. This is why it's called a unicorn. Women are designed, hardwired, to look out for themselves. That's at the bottom. If you want to get to the bottom, you want to cut all this bullshit out. You want to cut all this, putting a purple ribbon on it and a pink ribbon on it, trying to make it look nice and cute and sweet. And this is what it, no, no, no. At the end of the day, women are designed to care about themselves. Why? All comes down to the offspring. I got to find a man that's stable enough to provide for my offspring. They are hardwired to do that, to look after themselves. But it's not so much of themselves, it comes down to the offspring, all right? If I have offspring, I need a man that can provide for them, all right? So, obviously, you ain't gonna be able to do that if you're going through financial difficulty. And obviously, if you start getting booty whipped, guys, all right? And this is, this is the thing where I talk, tell you guys about validation and stuff like this right here. Whenever a woman sees you start falling too deep, Women start to pull back. Women are repelled by emotional weakness. They are repelled. It stinks to them. All right? I know y'all watch TV and y'all see all these fairy tales. The guy, they holding hands, walking hands in the park, and the girl's like, she got little hearts coming out of her, her head, and he got little hearts coming out of his head. And on TV, they make it seem like, oh, that's the way it's supposed to be. In the real world, when a guy got the hearts coming out of his fucking head, the woman is disgusted. All right, the woman is disgusted by a man that is starting to get fucking booty whipped. You, you know, real, real quick, let's come on. The, let's come on, on this real quick, and I and I want to um, take it from the perspective as I don't think that they know they're disgusted. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that they realize it or they don't know. But then it starts to become like a it starts to become like a plague mm -hmm. where where they can't quite put their finger on why they are no longer attracted. Mm -hmm. at least as much as what they used to be. Right. They don't really know and don't really understand. And I think it might be the difference between understanding your own biology. Mm -hmm. But I agree with him. If you go too far, if you go too far, if you show too much, of, right, uh, 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 kind of you pillow talking, mm -hmm. right, like like you're, you're losing your frame, mm -hmm. she's, she's testing you and you're, and you're becoming emotional and sensitive. Yep. Without a doubt, there's a component of that will that will detract mm -hmm. um, a woman. But there's a there's a component of that that detracts any human being. Mm -hmm. Like my man's is not <laughs> right. emotional people. You know what I'm saying? Like like yeah. like generally they're not. You know what I'm saying? Right. So. I don't know, any, any, any comments on, on what he was saying? No, that was pure facts right there. That was pure facts. I think to, um, I think to his point, one thing that I've noticed just like within like, you know, female friends of mine and you know, the stuff like, I've noticed that like, there are guys who like some women, like they go above and beyond, you know, like, and then there are some guys who like, they're just like, eh, you know, whatever, you know, like they're like, I, like for example, I have a friend of mine, I won't say her name, but she, you know, there's a guy who she's with now who I cannot make this up. If bro said, yo, I am hungry. He wouldn't even be able to get the, all the syllables out before she had a plate of Panda Express at that nigga doorstep. You know mm. what I'm saying? Mm. And then there's another dude who like, 
you know, he could say, I'm hungry, begging, please bring me some food. Like I'm broke. I might, you know, let me, let me see what I can do. All right. I will, we'll talk about it. You know what I'm saying? And when I looked at that, I noticed that the dude who like, she was willing to really go like above and beyond for, he had that frame. You know what I'm saying? He had that frame, that masculine frame. And like you said, I think it's just understanding their biology, like that they they love that. Like the one who they're really going to go hard. Because I just, I mean, and I, I'm pretty sure they're out there, but I just don't think I've ever really seen a woman head over heels for some emotional dude. Like, you know what I'm saying? You, Overly emotional guy. You know what's interesting is that I get different guests on here and you'll get them and they'll say like, no, like in, in hearing uh, like an AMS's definition of alpha and beta, they'll be like, no, I like a beta dude. Like, I, mm -hmm. I like someone that's more in tune and emotional and this and that. And like, when I start to pressure test what it actually means mm -hmm. to be emotional, what it, what, what, right? Like the bullet points on that, like putting on a pedestal, like, mm -hmm. you know, the, the, these things which, which paints them as better than the dude, right? right. Like, when, when, when I start to get into that, then they're like, well, yeah, I don't want him to do that too much. Or I don't want him to be like, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. like, like that dude, number one, in my eyes, should be focused wholly and solely on building themselves up to be the best human being that they possibly can from both from a mental perspective, a financial perspective, but also a physical perspective. Yep. You should be deeply in tune with those at least three components right. and working on those. And even if so, if someone else is in your life, right, like your focus is still, those are your three priorities and then maybe she's fourth priority. Mm -hmm. But I will tell you like, if she bangs with you because of those three top things, two, three top things, she will never not bang with you because you prioritize those things over her. Right. Verbally, she might have a problem with it, <laughs> but she won't deselect you because mm -hmm. you choose to keep those as as your te as your top three things. Yeah, kind of reminds me of that quote. Um, they said, um, "You'll lose a lot of um, women, or you'll lose a lot of money chasing women, but you'll never lose any women chasing money." Ever. Kind of reminds me of that, like how you know, like if you if you stay on that grind and on that purpose, they you know that's and I, you know that's I think that's why so many people like you know if you notice a lot of these like star athletes. A lot of these dudes ain't no Idris Elba, Morris Chestnut looking mm -hmm. guys. You know what I'm saying? It's not that. It's just the fact that they grinding. You know what I'm saying? They in the yeah. gym. They in the. They on the field. They practicing. You know what I'm they saying? Look they look good. They feel good. You yeah. Can't, you, they can't feel, be, you can't knock them off their hinges. You, so. can't, you cannot be confident and do what they do. Like there right. has to be a degree of security around all that as well. Exactly. So they have the basic tenets of what of a man that is um, sought after from a woman. Yeah. Right, like they have these basic tenets, which is often um, I think is that you have to uh, hone in on. Like even at earlier stages of life, you can have the high school football captain, mm -hmm. but then he goes off and is not able to make it into a D one school. Right, but <laughs> but who was his home, uh, prom sweetheart? Right, you know, she like baddest girl in the school, baddest girl <laughs> in the school. But then what happens? He's not able no. to get that offer. Right, like he mm -hmm. he only amounts to a whatever, mm -hmm. and that ceiling is hit. And what happens? I mean, you see it time and time again is that she moves on to the bigger and the better or the, or, or the next best selection. Yep. Um, and that just is what it is. But that's also on the other side of the coin as well. Like if I'm a nerd in high school and this is all as a dude, this is all that I can get. And, you know, mm -hmm. I'm liking anime and Pokemon or whatever it is <laughs> right. that you like. Yeah. But then you move on, a, on, 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 on to a career that gives you a lot of money because you was quantitatively focused. Mm -hmm. Right. Like and then you start going, living out your life. And you're like, why is this girl? you know what tried to me you would have never talked to me in high school right. i'm gonna upgrade what i have because what i then bring to the table exactly. right yep. so it's like it, it's on both sides of the coin there's things mm -hmm. that are going on but what won't change is the biology what right. won't change is is how you're viewed as value all right that is the thing that women are repelled by emotional weakness this is the whole thing i tell you guys never give women validation and things like that because what ends up happening, guys, when you start getting emotional weakness, and I can tell you this from my past experiences with myself, when I started to get emotionally weak for a girl, I got off of my purpose and she became my life. All right? That's not attractive to a woman. What ends up happening when you start to get emotional weakness is you start to spend less time grinding and you want to spend more time on some titties and ass. It's just natural to go that way, all right? You start to, before you was a man, you was at school at night, working hard in the daytime, and 
Now you start to catch a little feelings. And instead of you grinding and building, the woman starts seeing you get weak and you want to spend all your time with her. And if you guys are noticed, if you ever done this, if any of you older guys have ever done this, you can speak to the, the younger guys in the comment section. The women are always start asking financial questions. Like when you start getting emotionally weak, women will say, oh, start asking stuff like, so uh, how was work today? Um, no overtime, you, you know, overtime. Women hate to see a man to put more energy into her and to build in his empire, all right? It's very unattractive, all right? So when a woman sees that, you think, see, you guys think that a woman is going to look, hey, man, I'm giving her more of my non-sexual attention, and, you know, she asked for it, but then if you give it to her, she start losing attraction. Essentially, a woman asking you more of your non-sexual attention ain't nothing but a big shit test to see if you're getting weak. That's all. When y'all guys look at a woman wanting you to call more and spend more time with her, you guys got to look at that shit as nothing but a big shit test. And what's the test? To see how weak are you getting. Just real quick, and I think um, to, to AMS's credit and also to Patrice O'Neill's credit, RIP to the king, I don't think that women necessarily realize that that's a shit test. I think they genuinely want you to spend more time with them. <laughs> I, I legit, I, I genuinely do. Mm -hmm. I don't think they, that they know enough about their own biology in order to understand how they may find that attra unattractive. Mm -hmm. But I think they're looking at the next, the last greatest movie that they watch, yeah. where the dudes sort of pay more attention to them and then they sort of living happily ever after. Right. I'm not convinced that that's a shit test when they do that to you. Right. I, don't, I think it's a... Or at least not knowingly a shit test. Not, not, not knowingly a shit test, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, I, I think the only problem I have with what he said is that like, like, kind of like you said, like how he said like that's like they, okay, you know, they know this is a shit test. I think for me, like, I'm not going to lie. Like, I think some women, they genuinely do. Like, even shit tests aside, I think some women genuinely, all right, all right, look, like, you know, because it's kind of like we've been spending X amount of time together. I like you. You know what I'm saying? I want to upgrade that. You know what I'm saying? But like you said, though, to his credit, I, I don't think they realize that, like, if he gives in and it's not the right way. He really, that is a slippery stuff because he could have just completely messed up the whole entire thing he had going. Because, you know, if he, I feel like if a woman was to say, like, oh, you know, we should spend more time together, you know, blah, 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 and she's like really pressing you about it, I think it's probably maybe a certain way to go about that. Like, I don't think I would just immediately say, oh, yep, sure, you know, I'll rearrange some things. Mm -hmm. Nah, I'm like, you know, all right, look, let me, give me some time. Let me see, you know, how I can maybe shape some things up, you know, this way or that way. But, mm -hmm. you know, instead of just going straight into it, yeah, nah, I don't, I don't, I don't I wouldn't do that. And I think that's what he's saying. I, I agree with that wholeheartedly for sure. Right. All right, well, let, let's keep going. It stinks. Emotional weakness stinks. So if you ever get a woman that you can sit on the couch and share all your feelings and tell her how much you care and she don't start to get repelled by, oh, you got a motherfucking unicorn. All right, you got a real unicorn. If you go through some financial difficulties and she stand by your side, you got a unicorn. The problem is, guys think they got a unicorn. You, you guys, listen, if you've been dating a woman for two or three months, you don't know if you got a unicorn. You won't know until the back end, until you develop feelings for her, until you go through some financial difficulties. That's the only way you'll know if you got a unicorn. You cannot say just because you and your girl are kicking it smooth right now, y'all got the best thing going, and you just sitting there with hearts in your eyes, and you think you got a fucking unicorn. You won't know till you get on the back nine, not the front nine. All right, until tough times hit or your ass start catching feelings. That's the only way you'll know. If she stands the test of time through that, then you got a fucking unicorn, all right? But I'm going to tell you right off the bat, guys, don't be looking for no woman like this because you're actually asking a woman to go against her own fucking nature, all right? Y'all guys, and I want you guys, this, you know, let's go to a higher point. I want you guys to stop hating female nature, all right? They just, you, if y'all going to hate anything, hate mother nature, all right, because Mother Nature has ingrained in them and hardwired them to to primarily care about providing for the offspring. All right, so that's why I tell you guys, 
We are the manipulators, not the manipulated. All right? I've been got over female nature. I've been got over shit tests, testing for weakness, constantly testing for weakness, testing for weakness, testing for weakness. Why they got to test for weakness? Because a man that's getting weak is going to fall off his fucking purpose, which means that he can't provide for my fucking offspring. All right? So, uh, or fi financial difficulties. Whatever the case may be, guys, y'all guys get over that uh, female nature shit. We know how it is. If you're going to be mad at something, be mad at mother nature. All right? But... That's the thing with that, guys, all right? If you got a woman that can stand through the test of time through that, and she, when you catch feelings, she don't get repelled or start pulling back, it's like you right here and she right here. And let's say love is right here. And as you come closer to love, she starts pulling back like that right there. All right? That's how that works, guys. And for the woman to fall in love, she starts coming towards love. The only way she stays in love is if you pull her back. See, if you you looking at it like this, she's in love, I'm in love, and we're going to come in, we're going to kiss it, and it don't work like that. In the real world, if you are falling in love, the woman gets repelled. And if the woman is falling in love, to keep her in love, you have to pull back and keep her constantly chasing your validation. All right? That's the way that works, guys. All right. And I had another good question. And, you know, I've been doing this shit almost a what? Uh, you want to talk about that last point, bro? Um, now that I ain't gonna lie, that one I don't agree with right there because he's basic. I think what he basically just said was the only way to truly keep a woman is to never really like, like I don't know how to explain it. Like basically, like you can never just do anything really for her. Like you always gotta keep her on her heels and you know shit like that. I get that. You know, my dad he always told me growing up like the worst thing you can ever become is complacent. So mm. I get you know constantly letting her know and making her understand like look like you have me but don't ever think that shit's sweet you know what i'm saying like mm -hmm. you gotta constantly you know act your best look your best like we've got to both do our part to you know make sure we at our absolute best but at the same time they like keep pulling back because that's because you can only pull back some like if you know to use his analogy like you can only like even like look look at the lens like you can only mm -hmm. pull back so much you feel me where it's so like much. completely just you know and I don't I mean some I know a lot of women who they ain't going for that shit now I do agree to a certain extent where like as long as you keep them chasing you know what I'm saying like as long as they know like they have a reason to like you know I want to be my best for him you know stuff like that like they don't become complacent that's absolutely what'll keep her you know in love and you know all you know she'll be good and everything but to say like you got to keep on pulling back and pulling back because like I said like you can only pull back so much to where you damn near leave her ass you know what I'm saying like yeah I, I mean but but to me that's what game is right like in, in, in an understanding and having enough empathy to understand where she's at and mm -hmm. to focus enough on your purposes, but still just still introduce um, enough to keep her within arm's reach or arm's distance. Mm -hmm. but, but I never feel as though you should focus completely on her mm -hmm. um, or even like 50% of your time and energy on her. I, I feel like it still has to always be focused on developing who you are in the space around you. And she can be a part of that space. Like she's just another um, spoke to that wheel, right? Like it, it needs to be a multifaceted wheel, mm -hmm. right? But it needs to be a wheel that's like 22s, low profile, like right. It has to be the best wheel mm -hmm. possible, right? Um, but I do, do understand to a degree his analogy of of you know love's right in the middle. You go towards it, and she gets repelled. She go towards it. You have to repel in order to keep her chick, right? Like. But I feel like both parties can do that. Both mm -hmm. can lead this kind of, and, and a woman, her, her, she might have multiple people, like, and, they, and they're all orbiting around her, seeking the love or the validation or whatever. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, a dude on the opposite spectrum can do the same things as well, mm -hmm. right? Like, um, and, and often what you find is the ones that seek that love or the ones who get butt hurt and then Google some shit on YouTube and then <laughs> yeah. find dating coaches on both sides of the spectrum that will right. teach you, right, like components of the game that are completely different than you learned before. Right. Right. So, and there's value in that because you are starting to understand um, nature. Um, I think where it gets difficult at is when you start to teach things that are outside of biology mm -hmm. because then you get a whole bunch of fakers yeah you get a whole bunch of fakers you get people that that are you know talk a big game but are, are actually not about shit 
You know what I'm saying? I, I think, and, and here's where, where I try to focus in a lot of the content on my channel at, a lot, a lot of content on my channel is at, mm -hmm. you know, as a dude, you should build yourself up first. Mm -hmm. Like stick as that anchor, that should be your, your first anchor. Who, who, how do you become the best individual that you absolutely can? Worry about the women later, because the more that you focus on yourself, the better uh, options that you have, like yeah. as you come out. Yeah, I, I agree. And I, I think um, one thing I've noticed, I've seen, if I had to give a number, I'd say I've probably seen about seven or eight of AMS's videos. And I think one thing I've noticed is that he he's very general because he'll say men, 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 men. But you got to think, though, there are religious men, you know what I'm saying? There are there are men who live and die by the Bible. There are men who live and die by fucking as many women as they possibly can. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I think it's a certain audience that he has, like multiple audience that he, audiences that he has who might, you know, watch his videos or come across his videos. And I think one thing to me is that, like, if you're talking about a... If you're talking about a religious man, you know, who believes in marriage and, you know, all that good stuff, then how do you tell him, you know, and this is actually a question. How do you tell him, you know, hey, build yourself up, you know, because I feel like if you are a married man with three kids, then who comes first? I mean, of course, you come first. You got to make sure you complete and hold because you ain't even going to be able to, you know, adequately take care of a wife and kids and all that good stuff. But in that situation. You know, you. I mean, I heard you say like fifty percent of the time. Then what is it? Because it's like you know, now you you got seeds on this earth, and you got a wife. You know what I'm saying? So at that point, then who? You know, it it changes, but it's always going to change. I mean, it always it it, it changes based off of your situation in life. Mm -hmm. I I can't define it at that stage because it, it's it's so different when you have other lives that you brought in like onto earth. Like, and I was having a conversation with one of my dudes um, about two weeks or so ago. And he's talking about a situation that he's getting outside of. So he's about, he's about to get a divorce. Mm -hmm. And he said one of the components that drove him away from the marriage is, in his mind, the kids are an extension of him. Right. In her mind, the kids are the end-all, be-all. Oh, wow. Right. So, it, right. So, and that's a clear dynamic that I think you have to talk about prior to you getting married. Yeah. And I just talk about, but I don't know how you even pressure test that with actions because I'm all about actions, right? right? I'm not even sure how you pressure test that, but it's like that key fundamental factor has led to a component of their divorce because of how they view the value and the it, right and the time for the kids. And that's not to say like because he views children as an attachment on him, it doesn't mean that he devalues them or he's spending any less time. Yeah. It's just a mindset there. He still has to be him as a man. Right. Right. Um, but I think actually the differences in their in their views and their values towards that, this, it, it, it's a biological difference. Right. It's a, it's a, it, 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 to a degree, it's it's biology. Right. But I, I feel as though um, there needs to be that, la that layer of communication to become like a, to have a, a meeting of the mind, understand. Right. Like what are the implications of these two different ideologies? Right. You know what I mean? So are you saying, so was he, was it like, was it like her saying like, the kids are the end all be all? Like, you mean like, we got to make sure they straight before anything? And he was kind of on the other side of the fence. Like, I mean, I get you, but we got to make sure we good first, then make sure the kids are good. Is it like that or like? It's like that. Okay. It's like that. And, and what he found is that everything that he's based his uh, life around in, in understanding his purpose and the things that make him happy was overwritten by other things. Yeah. And I, I'm not to say like, um, I think when you have kids, you have to reassess your priority scale. Right. I, I do. And this is from a dude that doesn't have kids. I, I, I understand that, but there still has to be um, time for yourself to continue in the things that made you happy beforehand. Mm -hmm. um, and I think you could still do that with children. It right. just, it changes because there's only 24 hours in a day. Yeah. And a lot of those hours are dedicated towards making those your legacy. Yeah. Um, but I think that the, the baseline mindset of um, how you consider, right, these introductions into your life, I think has a lot to, right? Like, I mean, at, at, at its simplest idea, that's the difference between um, doing trips with kids and doing trips without kids. Mm -hmm. Like... 
I think you can have family trips, but I feel like you also need to have y'all trips. Yeah, absolutely. And I also think that like the dude needs that dude fella trips, mm -hmm. right? Like, right. So, and I think it's very important. I think it's very healthy um, to have those conversations on what your expectations are. Right. And even if your expectations switch, you have to have those conversations as well. Yeah. No, that's real. Yeah. I'm. Hey. I mean, I, I hear you. You know, I agree too. Like I said, that's just. You know, that's that's just one thing that I had noticed about AMS, you know, but but no, I mean, ultimately, though, I, I agree with exactly what he's saying, you know, because that's like the ultimate, you know, that's the ultimate test for women, yeah. for women, you know so, what I'm saying? So the test of if she sticks with you for, for, through financial hardship mm -hmm. and she sticks with you through your being emotional with her. Right. That's essentially what I heard him say, because those two, those two things would consider them as being a unicorn because it goes against their biology. Right. I mean, yeah. But even to take it a step further, though, I think, like, if if you, if she levels that up, though, you know what I'm saying? Like, because, like, granted, that's, I think that's all fine and good for her to treat you the same. But let's say, you know, hypothetically speaking, you know, another 2008 happens and, you know, you lose your job. And she's like, you know what, baby? I work for a company, you know, they're not laying anybody off, you know what I'm saying? They actually said, we're going to give everybody a bonus, and we're going to make sure y'all good, we're going to make it through these tough times, and that's exactly how I'm going to treat this relationship. I'm going to extend, you know, that to you. We're going to use this to get you back on your feet. We're going to get you a couple new suits. You can bomb these interviews. You're going to do your thing, you know? I think that even goes a longer way. You know, I think that's the, you know, I think what he's saying is the outlier, but I think that's the unicorn, like somebody who's like, you know, or like a chick who, you know, you say like, yeah, you know, I'm really feeling you. I just want to, you know, let you know I love you. Like, I ain't never felt this way, blah, 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 whatever you feel like you're saying. And then she becomes, like, even more attached to you. She becomes even more intrigued by you, and she wants to be with you even more type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, to really increase that. Because I think that's just, like, matching each other's, like, levels. You know what I'm saying? Like, now I'm being more with you, so now you're being more with me. You feel me? Or making up for that. You know, maybe it's a deficiency there, you know? So, Lawrence, last question, and then we're going to wrap up. Have you seen those women? In terms of like for me, like, like I came like, like I'm like, trying to date them, or you, just period. Like those unicorns, mm -hmm. have you encountered them? Um, I, I, I have encountered them, but I think they. Oh, how do I put this? It's like I've encountered some, but I think they kind of have this like the ones who I've encountered. I'm thinking about them. I think they kind of have this like false sense of like what that reciprocation looks like so i think them being unicorns might unfortunately kind of start to low-key fade away because they're going to feel as if energy isn't being matched but i think that's just more so in terms of like you know sometimes you might have to you know give 80 to the 20 or give 70 to the 30 not all the time because if that's how if that's the basis of your relationship that i mean i don't think that's really a healthy one but sometimes it might just be like that you know what I'm saying you gotta sometimes you might have to put, you know, both straps on your back and just keep it, you know, keep it moving for the both of you guys, you know, and I think they kind of have this sense in their minds of, you know, he's not doing that for me, so forget it, you know, not to say that that's not, you know, maybe not what they should have, I don't know, but, you know, I, I have seen some, but, yeah, I don't know, but, I mean, there's plenty of famous famous ones you can name, I mean, you know, Michelle Obama, Beyonce, all them good ones, you know, well, I don't know more so about Beyonce, because I don't know the extent of their relationship, but Michelle that's Obama true. is like a perfect example. Yeah, I, I can't agree with the Michelle Obama one. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. All right, but cool. All right, Lawrence. Another good one. Another good one, Another good one, man. I appreciate the knowledge, <laughs> brother. For sure, man. I appreciate the thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Questions, comments, concerns. Y'all already know what to do. Listen, I, know, I, I keep forgetting to say this on my videos. Drop a like. Make sure y'all comment. That's how y'all get it pushed up in the YouTube algorithms. We got to get a lot more yeah. views and eyes onto this content because I think it's very important for us. All right? What is it? Uh, like, uh, subscribe, share. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Tell your friends, all of that tell your stuff. mama. Te Auntie, tell your mama, uncles, tell your grandma. Everybody. Let's get the conversation, <laughs> especially your grandma. You know what <laughs> right. I'm saying? Because, you know, they, they so traditional. You know, they got, they got to understand what's going on in the, in the game nowadays because mm -hmm. it's changing. Yep. It's so changing. All right, again, questions, comments, concerns, leave it down in the description box down below. Video reactions, mediocre tutorials, and reviews at gmail.com. Y'all can hit me over there. This is a new camera. Does it look better? Let me know that as well in the, in the description <laughs> box down below. Until next time, YouTube. Peace! <laughs>